Welcome to another GCSE PE podcast, Mr. Moore PE. Uh, remember to like and subscribe. We're building our likes and subscribes every day, which is fantastic. We're going to look today at the sports performance pyramid, which is a big part of GCSE. But you also need to know a year nine and A level, so it never goes away. And like all pyramids, it looks like this. I'm going to do nice big pyramids. We've got some space to work with. And there's four levels or four tiers to this pyramid. So we, we kind of draw it like this. Um, at the bottom level of the sports taste for participation performance pyramid, we have something called foundation. So this is the bottom layer. So that's the foundation layer. And what they believe at the foundation layer is that this is kind of, um, people, people at this level are kind of playing for fun. They're involved in sport for fun. So they're playing for fun. There's not so many rules at this level. It's more about getting involved. And you tend to hear this, this wonderful phrase called grassroots, at grassroots level. So this might be primary school PE, playing a game in the playground with not many rules, not much structure, and it's all about just fun. Everyone's just having fun, getting involved in physical activity, being healthy, being active. But you're not taking it too seriously at this stage. And all of a sudden you might say, do you know what, actually, I want to start taking things a little bit more seriously. I want to join the school team or a school club. So then we move on to what we call the participation tier of the pyramid. So we move on to what's known as the participation tier, which is the second level of the pyramid. And here, we want a little bit more rules at this level. We want a little bit more structure. Maybe we want a referee. Maybe we want to play in a team. It might be at this level, the school team. It's not going to be the England football team. But it, you definitely, you're, you're kind of, you're, you're desiring a bit more competition. You want to make it a little bit more competitive. So I'll just put that in there, competitive. So that's the participation uh, tier of the pyramid. Then we move on to the next one, which is the performance one. And you'll notice that this pyramid is narrowing as we go up. And there's a reason for that that we'll come back to in a minute. So at the performance level, now we're starting to join um, a team outside of school. So this might be someone like Shaftesbury Rockies Football Club, or it might be playing for Dorset County Council, or you might be performing gym at quite a high level at a club. And you're really involved in competition. This is a key part here. And it's, it's, the emphasis is now on winning, which is obviously a big part of competition. No one really likes to lose. Um, but also, there tends to be like specialist coaching at this level. And parents might have to drive people long distances in order to get to these competitions. So we're starting to get a little bit more serious as we get to the top. And you can probably guess where this is going. At the very top, we've got what we call the elite level or the excellence level. And not many people make it this far up. That's why the pyramid narrows, because people tend to fall off for different reasons that we'll talk about shortly. So at the top level here, this is like national... This is like you've made it in sport, you're at the top of your game. Okay, so it's really, really successful. A few reasons why people fall off. Sometimes they just get bored of the sport, they're not passionate enough. Sometimes they don't have transport, money, access for these competition fees. Sometimes they get too many sports going on and they can't choose a single one. And sometimes they're just not good enough to make it to the top level. So all of us kind of have a place to play within this pyramid, but only a few get to the top level. And these are guys that make professional careers out of it. So that's the sports performance pyramid. Make sure you take some notes. You can always pause me, rewind me if you need to. Make sure you like and subscribe to Mr. Moore PE. There'll be another video coming soon. Thank you.